Right, my name's Dennis Ackroyd. I'm just going to show you how to do a snow scene. These are the colours. You move green, blue, white, red, and black. These are the six colours you need for the snow scene. We'll start with the sky. In fact, the first thing we'll do, we'll do a, a linear drawing in black and red of the uh, composition what we do what we're going to do so this is the composition sketched out roughly it's just a it's just a uh, a country path with wall being down it that's a tree there and a couple there right that's what I want to know so the sky Blue and mauve, cool colour, put snow. I'll put this on liberally. Cover the uh, entire surface with this blue and mauve. Down to edge, this edge, go over it, don't matter. I've done this a few times, so hopefully. It does it justice when it's framed. So these little sketches, rough sketches, are all you to paint. Don't be afraid to use this paint. Bit of warm and blue, come down to the bottom here. Just get that cool colour, that little sweet sky beginning to appear a bit more white and blue in here just get that rough edge the colour once you've uh, hopefully once you've seen this video You'll be able to achieve what I've done. So we've got sky in roughly. <coughs> now foreground, this is the path. Put, put no white snow on yet until we've got this the darks in first. Cover this in. This is the path. All you're doing is blocking, blocking the colour in. It's what you call blocking in. Get this lovely. And go back into your uh, edges with red, black, green. Cover this in quite quickly. Probably turn as much a bread pudding. It's a recipe. Once you've found recipe, you'll stick to it and hopefully you can keep to this and then add. It's like making a, it is like making bread pudding, you just add a bit more salt in as you go on. Here again, your blacks and your reds, this is all underneath you. All underneath your edge bottoms. Once it had started to snow yet. Yeah? Beautiful tones, keep these tones with your values. This is coming down here. This will be covered again. But what you're doing is actually filling the, the canvas. <coughs> Put this big old tree with green and black. More green. Start here, say. We'll, we'll, pump, we'll place it there. Right, so this is ivy, so we put ivy in.
get the local core in, feel your way into your pins, block it in, thinner brush as used, and put a few trees on the other side, grey grey ball, so these saplings here, here, and one here. These are quick sketches, they're not finished, well I mean I like to think they are finished painting because I don't like them too uh, highly polished as paintings. I've taught quite a few people and I've uh, enjoyed it. I find a <coughs> this is dry. This is painted on grey board, which is very absorbent. If you do use it, prime it. But I know what I'm. Well, I think I know what I'm doing. And then put these branches like an oak tree should be. Hold it well up. And here, go always up. Don't come down because you have a fat straw. Start off with thick and then peel it, you know, thin it out like that. And nice and white cameraman's laughing his ear off. But he likes it. We've only just started filming. Hey Nigel. Hi. I'm doing well. It's to teach you that everything comes off our board. Your greens and your reds. I've lost my sable rigger but it don't matter. I'll manage with this. I've been to class this morning and went to borrow Sonia's. Mm -hmm. That's one up for Sonia. So I'll make it look like a tree. Keep it thin. These, these, what uh, comes off top for a few. We all leave. Never come off oak trees, they're generally still through winter and they like burnt cedar and ochres and umbers. But pile this paint on because it's that fast drying. <coughs> Put it on quite uh, heavy and deliberate in your because uh, this is what's going to make the rubber painting. But to, to see some repaint, it's far better than to uh, <coughs> read a book. That's my theory. Because you read a book, it's never to, never to say. Come back to these saplings here. And to pull it pull it out like that. And here. Work over all your picture. Don't paint in one corner. And you see it gradually growing. If you're uh, if you're observant enough. Right, so I'll put us, uh, a bit more green on here, just like this, this up. 
don't be fine if you, nobody can get it right every time. And, and I can't. But we, but we can rectify it as mistakes as we go on. And that's what we do. But we've got to have this ivy. They're all cool colours, blues, greens. Put a bit of green inside of these. Because there'll be that uh, bit of moss growing on. Clean my brush. I'm being naughty, I'm standing too close. Stand back, shoulder, and return. <coughs> so, out of middle a tree, they don't just draw it at size from middle here, it's light over dark, so this will be light. Just put these in, just to here, little bits of through ivy. These light colours. Real lights come in, say at two o'clock, you get this light coming in through here, so this will be dark here, light will come over here, so when we put snow on these edges here, this this, this will shine through, but the white and blue snow will cover most on it. So just keep plonking away at this. With a small brush, we'll go back into the blue and white, just blue and white here. We'll make a field in distance here. I don't know if you can see it, but it does register on, on my board. I don't know if it, no, it'll come pick it up. It's just that distance. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't put no white snow on this virgin snow yet. They're still cool. A touch of red to this blue to make it darker more. But in shadow. So this is this is darker. A bit more blue was added. And then pile this dark and especially this path here. We all make mistakes, but you're rectifying the acrylics, which which as these are I'm painting with beautiful. Once I've learned to paint, you'll never put brushes down. Like me. Come through here. <clears throat> still blue. Still these cool colours. Still, we can put highlights on yet. That's the best part. We can wait and wait until you've got this. Correct. Fold this in. Use this edge, edge bottoms here. Just fold it in like that. And here you Snow's been walked on, should on. Road on. Right. Because blues, 
touch of red just to get the then fold this snow over uh, I'm still not putting this virgin white on yet I'm just put this uh, this colour on it's still this is still shadow And this darker deep because this this is darker side edge, so I'm, I'm, I'm really getting this blue red to make a more of a cool color here. And from up here, you can actually see it's no. Beautiful. When this is done, I mean, for a Christmas card, and you've painted it in a Christmas card after they sent to your friends, they'll say, "Wow, that's magic." A beauty about them. They, they are original. Bit of snow on. Don't ever do it. Okay. <coughs> Clean brush. Naughty boy. Rinse. White snow, this is the last, so this is half an hour painting. And then put the white snow on top, which is this is already dry now, and then put this this snow on, this clear, on top. What are you worried about? And this is I mean look at that, it glows. It glows like fluorescent light. If you can just jump in it. Yeah. Look at that, it's never been touched. Has it now? Nope. I'm bending down the bad back, I look like Quasimodo. In my back. And then just here. If these colours is uh, what I've shown you to lay down on your palette and they executed in the right passage, you'll find that it's a lot easier than reading text down the book. May you go on forever. Don't uh, overdo it and spoil it. Because you mess about, you know, I mean, so I said 10 minute paintings. Pick a bit of black up. And just put that bit of green and red, green, red and black, and come back here and qualify this, this edge going down to In fact, I'll put a, a post there, and it looks as though we're going down there, and it, it takes you eye into it. I hope you can see that. Little uh, touch. Come back with red, green and black. You'll make a ready brown. Black and red makes brown anyway, but green just helps it. It kills it, and then put a few leaves on on the uh, on, on oak tree here. Just scratch it on. Don't try to make it too obvious. And here, little bit bit of work will be needed. Where's my brush? Let's see here. All right, man. Yeah, that's fine, then. Then come back here and go back into your trees. This is all dry now. And qualify with a finer brush. I'm, I'm using a uh, quite heavy brush. And this is a, 
a, a lighter colour this than what I've been using. It's more redder on branches than what it is in. But but add these this this red underneath just here and there and just pat it in with your th finger. It, it it looks as though there's more red. It just it kills that that colour and with, with greens and all and red green and red. Just put just put a few spots of colour and pat them out. Oh, so. It gives you that feeling of uh, the leaves. I've got painting of a leaf like that, you know, it looks still, it's not, you shouldn't do that. Because when you stand back and look at it, you'll uh, understand what uh, I'm saying, hopefully. Just that little bit of green, but it makes it, it balances it up with this dark mauves and reds, blues. And hopefully you'll see it coming to Now here with this, here yeah, there'll be there'll be just bits of green, just flickers of, of grass here. Yeah, don't ever do it. And through here you get you get branches, and here and just get the little branches. Just that bit of colour down here, side of trees, or else to make a lovely painting. Come back in here with white, light against black, same as black against light, and put these back in again. They were a bit wet when I, when I did it, but that makes it shine. So, you know, snow just lands up branches here and there. Tart, tart, tart these up with the snow on that branch. Bit of snow, top of rail in the end down. Pull that through. Your blacks and your reds, just coming in here, just making uh, arbitrary marks in snow. The instinctive, it's hard to learn anybody to paint. It's, it's uh, so much what you learn over a period of time. But don't be afraid to uh, pick your brush up. It don't cost a lot to, fray, to uh, paint. 20 or 30 quid. <coughs> and you're away. Yeah, anybody wants to learn, wants to learn the kids to paint. There's a lot of uh, wealth in our world, and if you want a bit on it, it's to teach them to paint from young. Not like me, I will be up a little up on paint. You've been doing it for quite a bit now, though, haven't you? Really? Oh yeah, I've been. I've, been, I've taught it at, at Kirkbolt and Bumble night classes until the council capped it. You know, I stopped it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what for, but that's that's up to them, isn't it? Yeah, you want a really fine brush for ends. This is a bit too. I don't know why. I've, I've loads of brushes, but just ain't got that one. Well, we are put these two little, two little trees here, one there, and one there. Oh. Nigel, see what's in? Great on here. Yeah. And two little old trees here. It's artistic license. Yes. We all draw and paint. But this I can't draw. I said, no, you're a little hunter. 
You have to watch my video on wind. That's right. If you can't do that, the landing out moon, and we can't be in depot from the two wheels. Right. I mean, I'll, I'll play about with this for, uh, but I tend not to. I paint in uh, Hal Prima. I start and I finish. Mm. That's my, uh, I don't know if it's my downfall or me. Oh, what a call. Better. I'll put some lights in here now. Just this. Wait, sure it's. If you pick three colours up and don't mix them, it's called uh, optical mixing. But if you mix three colours together, you'll get one colour, naturally. But when you pick three colours up, it's optical mixing. The, and don't blend them together. And it looks so like, well, oh, how's that being placed like that? Well, that's why it's... Uh, that's how it's done. There's a lot of tricks, well not tricks that trade, I mean they're not tricks, it's just uh, common sense, isn't it? You know. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll just put a few leaves on to tumbling down off this, uh, off these, uh, it just helps composition. Just hold it to uh, hold it by your colour. Same as on top, just a bit of green on them. And then press to. Put a bit of green there. It's just for that light to relief. I'll just pick this black and on up again. Put a few more very thin, you know, I mean this oak tree looks as though it's holding well look. And that's how they should look. Now then. Always sign your paintings, date them. Have your mount ready to frame it. And take your clips off your board, leave it overnight naturally. And the. Uh, oh, that's lovely, Dennis. The painting. What anybody can do. Yeah. Colours is here. 30 yeah. minutes, that was right. fun. Well, thank you for watching. That's okay. All right, then, Dennis.